so hello and welcome to lesson three so in lesson three we'll talk about variables variables declaration variables declaration and assignment in python then we also talk about keywords okay then you assess ourselves on the concept so i'm where you can read off here i'm going to be your teacher for this lesson so what are variables in python so you know a variable in python is used to store a particular information and variables are basically used for assignments okay so th those are what variables are so let's take an example here you see an example here we have a equals five okay so with this a equals five the a is a variable and it has been used for assignment so we are putting five inside a so whenever you call a five will come out so it says we can make these two interpretation from a equals five so one a is assigned by five and two five is assigned to a so that's what it means so that's an example of how we declare a variable in python but we have to know the general syntax for what assignments in python so the general syntax for assignment in python is the variable name so in our case the variable name was a then the assignment operator so the assignment operator in python is equal to all right then the expression so here the expression was five so this is a general syntax for declaring as um, for assigning for doing assignments in python okay so it says in python the assignment operator is what equal to sign so you have to note that so we have general rules for naming a variable so before you can choose something as a variable name here we choose a we have some rules that we have to know if not you might do something and you get an error okay so the first one is that all variable names must be one word spaces are never allowed note if you want to use more than two words for a, a variable name in python then you can use the underscore sign for instance if you want to use first and number as a variable name then we can write it in this way first number you know they are together or first number separated with the underscore but not a space so let's illustrate that here for you to see okay so mm, So um I'm writing first number equals nine. See, I had an error because as I said, when you are um doing assignment, the variable names there shouldn't be space between them. So instead of writing first number equals nine in this form, I can write it this way. You see I added it together, so it's correct. So whenever I call first number nine will come out, or I can do it this way using the underscore i hope you get it i had no error okay so it says variable names start with a letter common convention so that means that if you are starting a variable name you always have to start with a letter or you can start with the underscore as well that's a common convention but variable names shall not begin with a digit so if for instance let's say we want to instead of the first number we want to write it in this way first number because now you can see that we are starting a variable name with what one so let's see what will happen we get an error because a variable name cannot start with what a negative but it can start with a letter or the underscore so see something so you see because i started with the underscore is correct so these are all rules that you have to know before you can start to program okay so a variable name should be meaningful Mm -hmm. Variable names cannot be keywords, and I will explain what keywords are in Python. So, for instance, you know the print function like is a keyword in Python. So that means that if you want to use a variable name, you can't use the print function as a variable name. So, variable names can also start with the underscore. I've explained that, and variable names are key sensitive. Right? I told you in lesson one that Python is key sensitive. That means a variable name of Kofi spelled this way is not the same as Kofi in lower case okay so we can do multiple assignments in python okay so 
He says, we can also have multiple assignments on the same line in Python by using the semicolon to separate the various variables. So an illustration is given on the next slide. So you can see that here in our console, we are doing x equals 9, y equals 7, z equals 5. And we want to do x plus y plus 7. It tells us it's 21. So you can see that when we're doing the assignment, we did it on different lines. So x equals 9. We went to the next line, y equals 7. But we can do it on the same line using the word semicolon. So x equals 9, semicolon, y equals 9, then z equals 5. So it's the same thing. So this is how we do multiple assignments in Python. Okay. So now let's go to the keywords. We said we have something called keywords, and variable names should not be keywords, okay? So we have to know the keywords so that we will not use them as variable names, okay? So keywords are reserved words, okay? So the keywords in Python are the reserved words in Python, like they've been reserved to do something particular. So like they have a particular use in Python. So apart from those things, we don't use them for any other thing again. They are reserved words in Python. So you should know that we cannot use a keyword as a variable name, a function name, or any other identifier in Python. Okay. So to know all the keywords in Python, we are going to do something. So we are going to use this import range of, uh, sorry, import keyword, then print keyword dot kw list. So that will tell you all the keywords that we have. So I did this in my console. So you can type this. So let me come here. Let's type that. Let's do that. So you see, this tells me all the keywords that we have in Python. So you can see we have the false, none, true, and as, asset, sync. So all these things are keywords in Python. And you cannot use any of them as variable names or function names or any other identifier in Python. Okay. All right. So from Python 3, there are 33 keywords. As at the time this slide was made, it was 33 keywords. So you can check from what we had here if they are 33. Okay. So Let's try and do that and see. So I'm going to use something to do it. Okay. So as it stands now, we have 35. You can see that. So there are 35 now. So I just used this code to find out how it was. No, I know you don't understand this one yet, but with time you get to understand why this was done. Okay. But I just wanted you to know that there are 35 keywords now in Python. But at the time that slide was made, there were 33. So um, they can be viewed from the screenshot on the previous slide. All right. But there is a tabulated list of all the 33 keywords in Python. So these are all the 33 that we had at that time. Okay. So you can have a look at them. So you can use any of these as variable names, function names, or any other identifier in Python. Okay. So we have a description of some of the keywords in Python. So we'll be describing some of the keywords in Python in the following slide. So for instance, true or false. You know, true or false. Uh, yeah, this one, the logical operators that we have, the Boolean operators that we have in Python. So for instance, when I say 2 greater than 7, it will tell me false. So, you know, I create a list called boys in math 2, and I have Randall, Philip, Eugene, Albert, Prince inside. So when I say, is Eugene in boys in math 2, it tells me true, because it's true. Eugene can be found in that list. If I say Michael in boys in math 2, it tells me false, okay? So aside even that, we can use to do a lot of things like um, when we're doing logic and set theory in final year, the truth table that we had. We can use this to compute them. So true and true was what? True. True or false was true. First of us were first, right? So, like, we just do them, right? So, that's a true or false. Then we have the as. 
So by now I know, even though you don't really know how to program, you've been seeing import NumPy as MP, import this and the rest, okay? So the as is used to create an alias while importing a model, right? It means giving a different name, user defined to a model while importing it. So mostly when we import NumPy as NP, that means that we are giving NumPy the nickname NP. So whenever you want to call NumPy, instead of calling NumPy, you will type NP because we see NP to be shorter than what the name P. Most of the time, that's what we do. It we use the alias for models which have a, a like a long name. We try to shorten them to be easy to be calling them, right? So, example, do you remember when we were importing the model keyword, right? We were like import keyword, blah 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 in the range. So right now, I'm coming to use the as to import keyword as Randolph. So that means whenever I want to call keyword, instead of calling keyword, I'll call Randolph. Because I'm importing it now as what well of right? So it will be print instead of doing keyword.kwlist that we did earlier on. Now we are importing keyword as of so it will be rindov.kwlist, right? And everything comes. So that's the as. The as is very, very important a lot. It helps us a lot when we are programming. So, yes, you get to know of the rest of the keywords as the course proceeds, okay? So let's look at some assessments on the, the things that we've done, all right? So is it from the assignment square root equals nine? What interpretation can be made from this statement? So I can see that square root is assigned by nine and nine is assigned to square root. So those are the interpretation we can make from this first slide, where is it? Do you remember from this one, right? Mm -hmm. So you can pause and do the rest. It says we have age. Age. This one is like a variable thing that we are doing. So an assignment age equals nine, year equals ninety-eight. Then it says what would be year plus age. So what would be displayed to the Python console when the following code is executed? So we leave about one oh seven nine plus ninety-eight error. Or blah 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 in the rest of king. So um what will be the answer? So this is going to give you an error. Do you know why? Because we said that keywords in Python or like variable names in Python are key sensitive. So you can see that the year you used yet for small y, but here you're using capital Y. So it's going to give you an error. And you see, that's the most important. That's one of the reasons why we have to learn these rules. Otherwise, you write codes. If you don't know the rules regarding that particular programming language, you'll be writing codes and you'll get several errors and you wouldn't know how to fix them. Okay, so you have to take this serious. So question three is, which of the following is not a correct assignment? Mm, so A is not a correct assignment because the assignment operator is equal to not double equal to, right? So B is also not correct because we are leaving a space between the first and the number. C would have been correct if the double equal to here was just one. Uh -huh. So all of the above, they are not correct, right? Okay. Then it says, which of the following is the assignment operator in Python? So it's what? The equality sign. Okay. So thank you very much. This is all for lesson three. I hope you've learned a lot. Okay. Trust me, if you should follow this, then by the time you are done, you know how to program. We are learning the rules. So all the best things in the next lesson. Mm.